This is your daily briefing and you're most welcome to it. Two to Mercato Webb, Atletico Madrid pressing upon Emerson Royale by Tottenham. Contacts now in progress to borrow it with right of redemption from Spurs. Yeah, straight out of a libretto that um, one for the Waitrose punters there. But yeah, um, sh- I, 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 I'd move Emerson but just on the proviso that we get an upgrade. Um, and it, let's talk about upgrades straight into Piero Hinchapi, um, suggested by Kicker, which is a German and a decent site. Um, plausible Spurs target, they say. The boy is a 20-year-old Ecuadorian who plays for Bayer Leverkusen, so his credentials look quite good. But my only concern here is that he doesn't feature in any of the scouting indexes uh, for top-performing left-sided centre-backs. So using individual data, because I'm a resourceful fellow, there appears to be a cigarette paper between him and Ben Davis, which for a reported 40 million euro strikes me as wildly ambitious and contracted until 2026. And I'm going to say it again, it costs a fortune to get these guys out of these things. They're the indemnity for the club. Um, so and this just feeds on from the other day where we had this previous nonsense of Jose Guardiol um, being a Spurs target also contracted to 2026 also not any better really than Ben Davis apart from being younger and again 30 million euros um, and then the following day like the day after I covered it on here um, it was doing the rounds at Red Bull Leipzig uh, where it was said to be offering jo- uh, Josco a contract extension so that's come straight from an agent just trying to get some leverage um, speaking of which uh, Fiorentina are considering a move for Tottenham's Giovanni Lo Celso that report comes from La Nazion which is not a great source but it all adds to the flavour of the pot and this is a curious one I have to say it's done the rounds this morning I've got it out a couple of people beat me turn up bastards um, in a curious twist the latest update comes from an unusual source John Sopel yes he of the former BBC North America's editor writer and broadcaster managed to spot Daniel Lee having dinner spotted dinner with Everton's Bill Kenwright that was yesterday in Scots in London um, and this is a venue yeah yeah uh, curious they still cried Alex um, in 2016 where Sir Alex Ferguson met with uh, Maurizio Pochettino um, and I've got to tell you there's an article that's worth reading for once and I don't mean that in a disingenuous way I'm uh, you know uh, but Spurs have signed, um, it, this is on the scouting thing, he's uh, Paratici's number two, Greta Steinson, who he, um, well this is a guy who's come from Everton and he was the number two there. Um, and the headline is, he has an utter contempt for bullshit. Um, but what else will Fabio Paratici's number two bring to Spurs? Everton's recruitment has been a masterclass in idiocy. And I don't mean that just because they bought Deli Alley. Spent an awful lot of money. Nobody's talking about it. And it's funny, this, the, the way that these, it's almost like some football fans have implants in their brains. Um, but, you know, the fact that, oh, Manchester City, evil money, evil oil money, Russia, Russia, oh, yeah, Chelsea, evil, evil. But Everton has spent an awful lot of money and they bought in the main dross. They nearly got relegated, so I'm not making it up. Neither am I giving you opinion. I'm giving you unadulterated facts. I'm reading through the interview, it talks about this guy having a strong handshake. He just looks like a corporate... Language, Timothy. Do you know what I mean? The shaved head, the skinny fits of the jacket. I don't trust these guys. I don't simply don't trust them and I don't understand why Daniel Levy is having a spot of supper with Bill Kenwright. I'm sure Premier League um, CEOs, owners, they all move around in similar circles and you know share woes of the day, pick up tips and all the rest of it but what are we doing looking at these two Everton players? I, I've, I've said it before, I know you might think it's boring but I just don't get it. I don't see them as Tottenham men. With Richarlison, there is an element of him throwing himself on the floor and being a bit of a cheat and this, that and the other. And I do believe that Conte is a strong enough manager to get on top of these guys, get a hold of them and put, point them in the right direction. But it's an awful lot of money. And if it goes wrong, you know, if you want, if you want to take the weight off of me, you know, the burden, tell me Tongi Dombele and Dombele's leaving. And then I know that at least, you know, the last mess has already been cleared up. That's it for now. Good luck. Keep it Tottenham.